First, open the pouch at the box and take the cassette out of a pouch, and then place the cassette on a clean and flat surface. Next, add 10 microliters of plasma or serum or 20 microliters of venous whole blood specimen into sample well of the cassette using a pipette. Next, then add four drops of sample diluents into sample well of cassette. Read the test result at 15 minutes after adding sample diluent. Do not read the results over 15 minutes. The colored lines appear in the control line region and no line appears in the test line regions M or G. The result is considered as negative. The colored lines appear in the control line region C and any of the test line regions M or G. The result is considered as positive. Control line is partially red and fails to completely appear in the control line insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedure techniques are the most likely reason for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test cassette. If the problem persists, discontinue using the test cassette immediately and contact your local distributor. Decontaminate and dispose of all samples, products, and potentially contaminated materials as if they were infectious waste in a biohazard waste container.